If you go first, if there were a way to stop all the words that make the concaves and convexes that fit together irrelevant, I would make it happen. I would stop myself from keeping the company of my shadow as we walk, chasing a destination, crossing the interstate, and ducking into the bushes that run along the sides. Maybe standing with my feet planted in the last bastions of civilization could be as improbable as you try to make it be. And I would take it, changing and becoming. I would stand at the kitchen window in a sunflower dress. I would have your mother over on Sunday afternoons. If you would take the first step, first step out the door and down the road to lay in the narrow shadow of a desert cactus and chase the rolling tangles of thorny tumbleweed. Because you don't know any more than the grey-brown desolation that it normally implies. You've never seen it when it blooms in late October, colored in bright, tiny flowers, blooming even there. If you'll go first, hold my hand through the desert, cold bare feet in the mountains, sitting on the railing of a shrimp boat in Barataria Bay, looking through my window, then we can go home, and I promise I will stay.